Hey everyone, my name is Corey Campbell and I'm a platform specialist on the Android Enterprise Business Team. And I'd like to talk to you about an important change we made last year with the release of Android 10. A couple years ago, we announced that we would be deprecating device admin based management and we started that process with the release of Android 10. So today, I'd like to talk to you about why we deprecated device admin in Android 10, what that means for your devices, and reiterate the benefits of adopting the modern Android management framework. Device admin APIs were introduced in Android 2.2 as a rudimentary local administration framework for Android. So our enterprise partners and customers adopted them as a way to manage Android devices. However, as their needs evolved, there proved to be a number of challenges associated with device admin. With no integration to Google Play, there were challenges around app distribution and configuration. Management controls were provided in an all or nothing method with no flexibility to accommodate various BYOD, knowledge worker, or kiosk use cases. Additionally, since device admin was not designed for advanced enterprise use cases, its security model did not meet the needs of our enterprise customers. So we developed Android Enterprise and Android 5 Lollipop as a modern Android management framework to address these challenges and provide a robust management solution for our enterprise customers. So in 2017, we announced that we'd be removing certain device admin based APIs in Android 10. When an enterprise mobility management's device policy controller targets API level 29 and the devices running Android 10, admins will no longer be able to manage lock screen settings, passwords, or disable the camera. EMM device policy controllers, or DPCs, will be required to transition to API level 29 by the fourth quarter of 2020. That means if you haven't migrated yet, you will need to make preparations now before these changes take effect by the end of the year. So what does that specifically mean for your existing devices that are managed with device admin APIs? For any devices that will be upgraded to Android 10 or ship with Android 10, if your EMM's DPC targets an API level before 29, end users will not experience any change in behavior on the device, and IT administrators will be able to manage the devices as expected. When the EMM's DPC targets API level 29, while you won't lose complete management of the device, IT administrators will lose the ability to require a secure device passcode, block the camera, and control lock screen settings. Additionally, users will see error messages on the device if those APIs are called. So over the past few years, we've been encouraging customers to move off the legacy management framework in favor of Android Enterprise. And over that time, we have continued to invest in the enterprise in three major areas of focus, security, management controls, and application distribution. With Android Enterprise, we strive to provide a comprehensive, multi-layered, secure platform architecture. We do this by making hardware backed security mandatory for all Android manufacturers that want to be GMS certified. We provide a number of OS level tools to ensure the integrity of a device and its data. With Google Play Protect, we provide a mobile threat detection system with always on app analysis, scanning, and remediation. And the management APIs provided allow our EMM partners to control, secure, and verify the integrity of the device and the corporate data on it. Our management APIs also allow EMM partners to provide flexible management options to IT administrators. Work Profile supports strong separation of work and personal data. It gives IT admins control over the corporate apps and data while preserving user privacy and ensuring that admins have no control over the personal apps and data. Android Enterprise supports multiple options with different levels of control and privacy. Work Profile for BYOD and corporate owned devices, fully managed device for work-only scenarios, and lock task mode for dedicated device scenarios. The various deployment options also let you choose the onboarding process or processes that best fit your scenario. For BYOD, users can download their EMM agent from the Play Store to start the provisioning process. For company devices, there are multiple enrollment options from scanning a QR code to bumping devices with an NFC tag to typing an EMM-specific code during device setup. And with zero-touch enrollment, enterprises can deploy company-owned devices in bulk without individual manual setup. We developed Manage Google Play to help organizations distribute great public and private apps to employees at scale. 
Manage Play is an IT curated version of Google Play that provides the ability to silently push and remotely configure apps to devices. Manage Play does not require app wrapping or the use of proprietary SDKs and allows you to avoid the risk of sideloading applications. We know that these types of transitions are an important undertaking. So to assist customers, we created the Android Enterprise Migration Blue Book with detailed information and best practices for moving from a legacy device admin deployment to Android Enterprise. We recommend separating your migration plan into four steps that are outlined in detail in the Blue Book. First, analyze your environment and document your current policies. Use that documentation to identify your Android Enterprise feature requirements. With those requirements documented, set up a test instance with your EMM and start a proof of concept. Finally, select the rollout strategy and determine which users and use cases will be rolled out first. You can also find Google verified devices and services on our solutions directory. So you can choose the Android Enterprise recommended devices and partners to support your mobility needs. For more information, please visit the resource page of our website. Android Enterprise offers a powerful suite of features to manage your company's device fleet on your own terms. But we understand that migrations take time. So with the approaching requirements for EMM DPCs to target API level 29 by Q4 of 2020, we recommend starting now to avoid any surprises. Work with your EMM vendor to develop a plan for your migration and create detailed user documentation to help users through the process of getting their devices enrolled and configured. We'll be discussing more about the benefits of Android Enterprise throughout the year, so please tune in to our new series, Android on Air, at androidonair.withgoogle.com, where you can hear our experts discuss various mobility topics and the best ways to leverage Android to transform your business. Thanks for watching.